the machine ate his credit card, so Australian finance lecturer charged bank 1,000 Australian dollars. Not happy, Dr Andrew Loon took action against Westpac arguing that it should compensate him for a lost ATM card. What do you get for the two Australian dollars, two New Zealand dollars? 10, service fee paid to withdraw cash from another bank's ATM? A university finance lecturer in Australia who pursued Westpac for 1,000 Australian dollars, 1,050 New Zealand dollars, in compensation after the bank's ATM ate his credit card believes he has the answer, nothing. Andrew Loon, 64 launched proceedings in the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal after a Westpac ATM in the Melbourne suburb of Abbotsford retained his credit card when he tried to withdraw 500 Australian dollars, 525 New Zealand dollars, on Melbourne Cup Day in 2015. Dr Andrew Lu. A former finance lecturer and actuary, argues that banks do nothing for their ATM service fee. Essentially the machine shut down, it froze, went blank and then switched off, he said. It started back up after five minutes like nothing had happened. I didn't get the cash, I didn't get the card. The lost card frustrated Lou. A Bendigo Bank customer, who had to rearrange his direct debits when insurance companies began sending letters telling him that his payments were overdue and his polices were in danger of being suspended. Seeking compensation for his lost time, the Richmond man lodged a dispute with Australia's Financial Ombudsman Service claiming that the card had been stolen by Westpac through no fault of his own. However, the ombudsman told him that it could not consider his complaint because he was not a Westpac customer and had not been provided with a financial service when using the bank's ATM. Lou objected to the finding countering that he had paid a two Australian dollars service charge as a non-customer to use the ATM, which he claimed should count as a financial service. This argument did not change the ombudsman's view, which was that Lou could only make a complaint against his own bank as it was the operator of his account. In December 2015, an incensed Lou lodged action in Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal against both the Ombudsman and Westpac, seeking 1,000 Australian dollars for the time and effort in recovering his stolen card and reinstating the direct debits, as well as the tribunal application. I didn't expect to win, I thought would make a point of it. The former Monash University finance lecturer and superannuation actuary said. I think it's ridiculous that the banks have this secret agreement between themselves. They charge a service fee which they do nothing for. It's money for jam for them. The tribunal rejected Lung's claim against the ombudsman in August 2016, finding that because their services were free, it was unable to consider it a dispute between consumer and trader under its jurisdiction. In April, the tribunal also ruled in favor of Westpac, stating that it did not have a contract with Lung, as he was not a customer with the bank. By prior arrangement between Westpac and Bendigo Bank Westpac, in effect, agreed to act as agent for Bendigo Bank, tribunal member Suzanne Lydon said. 
The arrangement between Westpac and Bendigo Bank is commonplace in current banking practice and such arrangements exist between financial institutions both nationally and internationally. Lu said that he did not plan to take his action any further, as it would involve going to a higher court where the costs would outweigh the benefits. However, he did say he was surprised the tribunal ruled that he had no contractual arrangement with Westpac. Instead, he thought it would find that the 1,000 Australian dollars compensation figure he wanted was too high. It supports the argument that the banks are charging for a service they don't provide, he said. They don't actually do anything for it, the transactions are electronic. The cost of each one must be close to zero for the banks. Reserve Bank of Australia data shows that customers made nearly 259 million withdrawals at banks other than their own in the past 12 months. At a cost of $2, that equals more than half a billion dollars paid annually in ATM service fees. Westpac and the Financial Ombudsman Service were contacted for comment.